if we find that life began a separate origin to Earth on Mars or Europa or any, anywhere else, I think you just assume then that life is common throughout the universe. If you have two separate genesis moments in a single solar system, then I think you can just assume, you can extrapolate then. So uh, then the question becomes, given some kind of simple life, single cells, replicators, given that, how likely is it that you suddenly get something like us that has a conversation, which is kind of a big jump. I mean, you think about what we, we are. I think it was Sagan who said that a physicist is a hydrogen atoms way of learning about hydrogen atoms. You start with the universe 13.8 billion years ago with quite a lot of hydrogen, some helium, and a, bit, a little bit of lithium and some other stuff, but not much, right? Basically hydrogen and helium. And then 13.8 billion years later, you're, you, you've got these things that have worked out that 13.8 billion years ago, the universe was made in the hydrogen and helium. It's, a, it's quite a big ask, it seems. So it may be a whole other question. Is it inevitable that given the origin of life and some time, let's say, what, two billion years, three billion years, four billion years, if you can have a planet that supports an unbroken chain of life for four billion years, is there a really high probability that you'll get intelligence or is there a low probability you'll get intelligence? We don't actually even know the answer to that.